The store is still a place we have to consciously go during opening hours to look at a selection of goods that somebody else chose for us. But I think there's a transition happening. In essence, media is becoming the new store. So what does that mean, right? It sounds awfully McLuhan-esque, right? Media is the store. Well, what I mean by that is if you look at the old role of media, the old role of an ad was to tell a brand story, to create product interest, and ultimately to drive me to distribution, to make me go get the product. On the other hand, the old role of the store was to have that product merchandised and ready to go, have staff that could talk intelligently to it, and to be able to facilitate the transaction. That was the relationship between media and physical stores. But now media is the store. I can buy directly from every page of Harper's Bazaar magazine that has an ad. All the ads are interactive. I can buy directly from a YouTube channel, from a music, from a, from a sound clip. I can buy from my smart TV, my social network. The list goes on and on and on and on. So what about the store? Does the store just disappear? No, I don't think so. I think that what's happening, and I think the opportunity that we have, is to turn stores into media. To do just the opposite. To make the store the most powerful media channel that a brand has at its disposal. But in order to do that, we need to take an intellectual jump as business people, as agencies, as technology providers. And we need to say the store is not just a place that distributes products, but the store is a place that distributes experiences with those products, where it's less about product and it's more about production value. The product is just the prop, right? But the production value is about the set design, it's about the technology, it's about the people, the, the cast of characters in that environment. And retail, of course, is going to be a lot less about conversion, about what did I sell within the box today, and it's going to be a lot more about how many converts for the brand did I create. Right? How many people will buy from me now wherever I sell because they love my brand so much? And if, if all of this is the case, then we have to start measuring retail differently. These are the metrics that we've used forever in retail. Sales per square foot, sales per hour, what's my gross margin return on investment, on inventory? All of these numbers are what we have used as the Bible in terms of how we run retail. But my belief is that that now is basically the economics of boredom. So we have to move over to a new set of metrics, and the new set of metrics get at measuring the experience that's taking place in the store. And these look a lot more like web metrics, right? So how many people came into the store that had never shopped our store before? How many people came in that were repeat visitors? How many people came into the store and then bounced right out, left two minutes later without explanation? Where did they go? What did they touch? Who did they interact with? What did they buy? What did they say about the store downstream of that experience? All of these things are things that we need to start measuring. And the new retail revenue model going forward is going to look a lot more like a media model looks today. Now, if you think this whole thing sounds like rubbish, if you think that, you know, well, there's no way that retailers are going to move over to this new revenue model, I would encourage you to look at the music industry. Because if we were having this conversation 20 years ago, I would tell you that most music artists made the vast majority of their income off record sales. That's how they made money. They toured only so that they could sell records, right? Today, the average music artist makes 6% of their income from record sales. Everything else is from live performance. So if we turn that around and look at the retail industry, is it not conceivable? that 10, 20, 30 years from now, only a small portion of what a retailer makes could come from the transaction of the product, but the majority of it could come from monetizing the experience.